Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Um, I was at Walmart today uh, checking out the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom merchandise um, and I wasn't really expecting anything because the shelves at my Walmart have been like half empty for weeks and weeks um, of Jurassic Park Fallen Kingdom merchandise so I wasn't really expecting much but to my delight I found something new and it's something that I'm super excited about and I wanted to share it with you guys today. <laughs> Mattel, I love you. They are the new Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom hatchlings. I am a very, very big fan of the Jurassic Park hatchlings. One second. We have seen these baby dinosaur hatchlings since the very first Jurassic Park line of toys. And these proved to be very successful because we actually have seen these in every single line of movie toys. We've seen them in the first Jurassic Park. We've seen them in Lost World Jurassic Park. We've seen them in Jurassic Park 3 and we've also seen them in the dun 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 Jurassic World line by Hasbro. And now we're seeing them in the Fallen Kingdom line by Mattel. I do not have any of the hatchlings from the Jurassic World line of toys by Hasbro a few years back. If you look at this, you can tell it's Jurassic. If you look at this, you can tell it's Jurassic. If you look at this, it doesn't really look like it's part of the Jurassic toy line at all. The only thing cool about those guys were that they actually moved and they talked, which was a really cool um, feature. But then again, also in Jurassic Park 3, those hatchlings also made sounds, but they didn't move. It's got a great paint job and it just looks so cool. And not to mention, it's also got a great shell that can actually completely close if you want it to. Like this! really 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 wish that toys nowadays were more of the real feel rubber kind of things that's why i really like the mosasaurus a lot because it was that rubbery kind of texture so let's stop talking about the past and talk about the future or i mean the present because it's right now Mattel continued the tradition of the hatchlings for Fallen Kingdom. So these are the Mattel hatch and play dinos for the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom line of toys. So we have a Tyrannosaurus Rex, a Triceratops, a Sticky Malach, and a blue Velociraptor. So each of these guys is kind of unique in two different ways. Uh, number one, their shell colors are actually all different. Even though the Triceratops and the blue kind of look the same, I'm sure you can't maybe pick it up, but this guy is actually more blue, kind of green in tinge, and this guy's a little more yellow. Then the Triceratops tops it's kind of an orangey kind of speckled color and then the sticky is actually kind of more white and the second thing that's unique about these guys is that they all have their own interactive feature so the tyrannosaurus has teeth actually grow the triceratops stomps the sticky his horns grow and the blue chomps their shell actually closes and then i guess there's some sort of spring action and you can kind of pop open and they hatch over and over again um so i haven't seen any reviews or unboxings of these so i will kind of be looking at these guys with you for the first time so for once in my life I was actually lucky because in my toy aisle, there was a total of five, count them, five hatchlings. So I had one of each and then there was one spare and that was the Triceratops. So I decided to get the extra Triceratops so I could actually open this with you guys and that way I can keep all these guys minty fresh. Ah, fresh. So let's just quickly take a look at each of these guys individually. First one is Rexy, our Tyrannosaurus. And right off the bat here, I can see that this guy is completely made out of plastic. His arms kind of move a little bit. I'm assuming his legs also move. And he has the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom symbol there on the bottom of his foot. And on the outer part of the shell here, we have this cracked opening where we can see the Tyrannosaurus eye. So this is kind of drawing a comparison to, you know, like that famous Indominus picture, you know, of the Indominus peeking out of its shell. So they kind of maintain the theme with all these hatchlings. And here we have the side hatch again and again and again. And on the other side of here, we have this teeth grow action. So it looks like there's a little dial here in the back that you twist. You move this enough, his teeth will grow or something as his mouth opens. On the back here, we have everything that you can get. Blue, the Triceratops, and the Stiggy. On the back here, you can see how, you know, when you close it, it kind of overlaps the shell, and then it's a spring-loaded action, so it'll just pop out. So looking at this little Stiggy here, we see we have the same articulation in the arms as the Tyrannosaurus Rex. We also have that little stamp there on the bottom. We have a cute little paint job here on his back. Um, his mouth does not open or anything like that, but you can clearly see that his horns are going to be able to move horns grow here it's a little interactive feature by moving that little knob and next we have blue the velociraptor here in this kind of a slightly bluey tinged egg oh so it actually looks like all the arms of the hatchling there are all kind of this soft plastic it's not rubber by any means and again the same articulation in the arms we also have the stamp on the bottom of the leg and we see his mouth opens and we have a little detail of the teeth in there with the pink little mouth and and on the other side we have his individual chomping feature and 
last but certainly not least, let's take a look at the Triceratops, which we will actually be opening. Here, her mouth does not open, just like the Stiggies. Cute little detail here on her crest, you know, kind of like little individual scales up there. I don't see the stamp here on her front leg, so I'm sure the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom stamp will be on one of her back legs. And on the other side here, we have her stomp features. Let me cut the chit chat and let's open this girl up. <laughs> oh shoot, I just, threw away, I just threw away the top of the shell. Um, press on the neck for a crouching motion. Oh, okay. And then press on the back for a stomping action. Ugh, it's not really a stomping action. One second, let me do it on here. Ah! I go down like a crouching action. Oh my God, the spring is so hard to load. They should just say, move the front legs up. Then you're gonna, okay, that's not really a stomp. She is completely, completely plastic. Um, her tail looks like it should, you know, kind of move a little bit, but it's not. It's just kind of a more soft plastic. Um, and I appreciate that there are some highlights on her, so kind of like some yellow highlights on her face, um, a little bit on her body as well. And kind of around her crest, there's kind of more dark shading, which is nice. On the bottom here, we do have that Jurassic World symbol. Near the side of her tail, we do have this number. That we do kind of have some little crack marks all around the egg. There are some kind of speckles embedded in here, some colored blue speckles on this one in particular. So we do have a little bit of kind of indented perforation marks all around the egg. We also do have that cracked window here on the egg where we see the Triceratops uh, eye here, but the whole thing is just kind of sunken down a bit and a sticker is just placed on the sunken in part of the egg that in order to compensate for the curvature of the egg, there are kind of little marks um, in the sticker. And also on the bottom of the egg, we do have the symbol on the bottom and actually the bottom of the egg, we do have that number that we saw on the Triceratops by her tail. On the front of the egg, we also do have the logo on the front here and it kind of is overlapping. And if you see on the bottom of the egg, it is quite heavy. We do have clearly like some spring loaded action here on the bottom. And on the top part of the egg here on the inside, you see we have this kind of a protruding um, little panel here. So let's hatch this right now. So I'm going to close it. Oh, oh, so you kind of like close it a lot. Okay. So, oh, 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 that's really cool. No, my egg shell. Line it up and then push it down. Oh yeah. It's a nice healthy spring. And then I'm going to push. What? Come on. Oh man, sometimes it like doesn't work. Oh man. Oh, there we go. <laughs> So there's never been, you know, any kind of really interactive shells. Um, all the kind of the older lines just had shells that kind of close up like that completely or they open like that. Um, so it is kind of cool, you know, how these do um, close and you can spring load kind of hatch them. That's pretty cool. It's pretty interesting. Although it is kind of, you know, hard to kind of jimmy rig it a couple times and sometimes it hatches, sometimes it doesn't. You got to just keep pushing and pushing so that they actually look like they belong, you know, in a Jurassic franchise. Um, you know, obviously not, it's not the most fantastic scalp, it's not the most fantastic paint job, but hey, it's better than what Hasbro did. I also do like that there is some semblance of interactiveness. Negative is about these things. You know, I can't really speak for, you know, the other three, but in terms of the interactiveness, this thing was pretty hard to interact with and it wasn't really that anything fantastic. I mean, pushing its neck down, it's really hard to, you know, get that spring loaded for her. You really have to just kind of move the legs up front. And even when you do press it, it's very, very, underwhelming. Also would have liked this thing to be a rubber. It just looks more realistic. It feels more realistic. So these guys were about $23 Canadian each plus tax. And for the price point, I think it would have been nice to, you know, have maybe a little bit of sound. I think that would have been nice. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little review and unboxing of these Hatch and Play Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom dinos. And in the comments down below, please let me know out of these four guys, the Tyrannosaurus, Blue, Stiggy, or the Triceratops, what one is your favorite? And also let me know, you know, what you like about these guys, what you don't like about these guys and also let me know is there a comparison is this guy way better than you know than the old guys or do the old guys still reign supreme or do you prefer this little hatchimo do you like this little hatchimo are you a hatchimo no 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 these are my toys are you the best hatchimo are you the best Hachimo? Oh, he's a little Hachimo. He's a little Hachimo. So please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I come with new videos every week. Come check me out on social media and help support the channel on Patreon. So thank you guys so much for watching and stay legendary.